Good morning, YouTube. Um, I'm here again. This is day three, June 3rd, and I am up 2.2 pounds. I am at 174.2, um, probably because I am within a week of having my menstrual cycle. So, um, I think that has something to do with my weight going to probably be fluctuating until I'm over with my period. Um, I told you guys today that I would show you my vitamin regimen. Well, what I take is Viactive Calcium Chews. They are very um, good for you. They have calcium, vitamin D, and vitamin K in it. And I take them on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, this is just because calcium is important, especially for us women. And um, actual supplements, I've heard do not, your body don't take them very well. So I take these. I've been telling you guys I take um, Alaskan um, Omega-6. They're actually um, Alaskan Omega-3 pills. Can you see them? There you go. And um, these work wonders. Um, they help me with my PMS symptoms along with the forage oil. I don't have my forage oil pill bottle with me because I used the last one yesterday and I threw it away. Um, but they only like $2 at Walmart. The Alaska um, Omega-3, you can go actually on eBay and get probably three of these bottles for like $15. Um, I like the Alaska ones because they don't make your breath smell fishy or, you, you know, you don't smell like you've got a tune on your back because you don't get that odor off on your breath. Um, another thing that I use is extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is good to help keep you regular. I take a spoonful in the morning, a spoonful at night. Um, it's good for a lot of other natural things. You know, I make my own face scrub, so I use a lot of olive oil on my face. And I use olive oil on my hair when I make my own conditioner at home. Um, let's see. Pretty much that's about it. Um, I try to stay real natural, and I don't do too much with a lot of just processed stuff. Um, also, on this diet, what I've um, incorporated was, with some research that I've done, that it's not necessarily so great to do a liquid diet without getting some form of, excuse me, extra fiber and um, just probably having something to eat. So, um, I had some fresh vegetables in my refrigerator, and what I've done with that was... Um, I cut up some leeks. You can get them in bundles of three. They're really affordable. They look funny, but they, they're they very um, mild. They taste like a mild onion. And I chopped those up, put them in the skillet with a little bit of olive oil, and um, I cook those until they're translucent. And I add shiitake mushrooms. Those are the really big mushrooms, the big circle mushrooms. Um, you can get them sliced. I usually buy an 8 ounce container of them sliced and grab a handful, chop it up, and throw them on top of the leeks. Um, some salt and pepper, and then a couple bunches of um, fresh broccoli. I buy organic broccoli. So I chop it up, throw it in there, let it all simmer and get warm and cook. All vegetables and almost no calories, and it's okay. Um, I've done it because I had fresh vegetables in my refrigerator. I didn't want to go bad. Plus, it says that I should have some kind of fiber and green leafy stuff. So, um, if I choose the chief, like I told you on day one, I might decide to eat something. If I choose to eat something, it'll probably be that to snack on or whatever. Um, my six-year-old loves it, so the taste can't be too bad. Um, what else? That's about pretty much it that I've done. I've also read that drinking too much water can flush you of your electrolytes, and that's not a good thing. We don't want you to flush your electrolytes. So um, if you're doing a liquid diet, um, along with your um, shakes and water, drink maybe some Gatorade because, you know, that has electrolytes in it. Not too many. Don't 
switch the water for the Gatorade, but you know, get some Gatorade so you can replenish yourself. And also, like if you choose to go ahead and snack on that, you know, snack that I told you guys about, or any snack you choose, sprinkle a little bit of salt on it because you don't want your sodium levels to go down too low um, when you're flushing your system and you're only drinking liquids because that's a lot. Of, that's draining. It's like having diarrhea. It's like throwing up on a 24 basis is just going through your body. Um, other than that, um, I'm going to show you what I look like. And you guys, remember, do your workout. Get a simple workout plan and, um, you know, stick to it and do as good as you can. Um, I'm going to get up and show you guys my 2.2 pounds that I've gained overnight. <laughs> Alright you guys, so you see me today, um, hopefully this water fluctuation won't last too long and you guys don't get discouraged, I'm not going to get discouraged, and I will definitely see you guys tomorrow morning, alright guys, good luck.